thought for the day. Failure will never overtake me if my determination to succeed is strong. Welcome to 7 Minutes for Yourself. I'm Christina Ina, and I'm so glad you've joined me for what I believe will be 7 of the most enriching minutes of your day. Let's take this time to reconnect with ourselves and improve our well-being. In today's episode of 7 Minutes for Yourself, we look at how to turn our hopes and dreams into reality. Have a listen. I have to say this first. No matter what you hear me say, no matter how I tell my story, no matter what piece of information I lay out in front of you, please tag that with cause of God. My life is favor. You know, Bishop Jakes told me one time, when you got favor on your life, no matter what you're thrown into, you're going to always rise to the top. I have been thrown into a lot, but because of favor and grace, I just keep keep showing up somehow, man, no matter what they do. And so all of this that I have is really because of the grace of God. Now, I'm going to tell you something. You've got to have a tremendous work ethic to be successful in here. In other words, and you can relate to this, you got to have a lot of dog in you. <laughs> you really do, man, if you want to be successful because it's, it's going to be a lot of trying times. So you have to have a tremendous work ethic. But you got to have faith. Faith without works is dead. Albert Einstein said once, he said, imagination is everything. It's the preview to life's coming attractions. Everything you have, everything we have in this world, somebody imagined it. It's your ma- imagination is tremendous. Somebody was sitting on the phone one day talking with a cord to the wall and said, man, I wish I could just go outside with this phone. Everybody in here got a cell phone. Somebody imagined that. Somebody got tired of riding in a wagon cross country from slavery to freedom. Somebody said, I wish we had something that made these wheels move by themselves. We drive cars. People got tired of driving from New York to LA. Somebody said, I wish we could fly. We got airplanes. Imagination is everything. It's the preview to life's coming attractions. Your real life, the one God really got for you, is in your imagination. It is not in your current situation or your current paycheck. And if you've been living like that, you have then restricted yourself to a commonality that is really not yours. Because what really God got for you is really in your imagination. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So when I told you a minute ago, you got to have a tremendous work ethic, but you got to have a lot of faith. I talk to so many people who get older, like some of us are, and they've lost their faith. Well, faith is really simple. It's the, faith is the substance of things hoped for. All that means is in the beginning, you just hope something pop up. You know, you just kind of hope something happened for you. I was hoping I would get on TV. I wrote it on a piece of paper when I was 10. I want to be on TV. The problem I had when I wrote it at 10 was I suffered from a severe stuttering problem. I could not talk outside of my house. So can you imagine when I wrote on a piece of paper, I want to be on TV and turn that in. But when I wrote it on the paper, it wasn't factual. It was just hope. You just got to start with the hope. Faith is the substance of things that you hope for. You just hope something, Joe. Then what happened is through grace and favor, he give you a couple of them things you hope for, and then you're supposed to start believing then. Because now it turns into faith. But if you take this scripture, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. What is the evidence of things not seen? I just told it to you. Albert Einstein said, imagination is everything. It's the preview to life's coming attraction. But guess what? Your imagination really is. It's the evidence of of things not seen. Because your imagination, you know why it's the evidence of things not seen? Because you the only one can see it. Your imagination 
It's actually God showing you a preview of a coming attraction that he has for you. The moment you don't believe in your imagination, you negate what he got for you. Your imagination is the preview to life's coming attraction. It is the evidence of things not seen. Because can't nobody see it with you. Your problem is you keep telling your imagination to the wrong people. See, if you want to kill a big dream, tell it to a small-minded person. It's dead. How many times, man, have you had a tremendous idea? Something you thought was the one, and you went and told it to your loved ones and your so-called friends, and they shot it down. I mean, you was convinced that it was just, oh, man, I just came to you. And you told it to me and they shot it down. And you thought since they was your loved ones and their friends and they got your best interests at heart, you believed them. You was wrong. They taught you let them talk you out of what God got. See, if you think you're too old to make it, let me give you a prime example. Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders has been frying chicken his whole life. He was telling everybody he had the best chicken in the world. Ain't nobody believe him. They turned him down everywhere. Colonel Sanders didn't get a franchise till he was in his 60s. Kentucky Fried Chicken sell more chicken than anybody in the world today. So if you're sitting there thinking because you got a little gray on you, and you're too late, as long as God waking you up in the morning, that's the sign that he ain't through with you. That concludes today's episode of 7 Minutes for Yourself please take a moment to rate and review the show on Apple Podcasts. Today and every day with your kiddo is a gift. Enjoy it. Thanks for tuning in.